the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 272, Esther 1 to 5. Esther threatens towards the Jews. Esther devised a plan to save her nation by trusting in God as Haman tried to annihilate the Jews in Persia. First point, before setting out to the third war between Persia and Greek city states, Queen Vashti was dethroned in the middle of the six months long party that was held to raise spirit. The story of the beautiful Queen Esther has quite the backstory to how it all began. King Xerxes ruled over 127 provinces stretching from India to Kush. Xerxes had a party for six months with his officials and nobles in order to prepare for the battle against the Greek city-states. It was during this time that the incident with Queen Bashiti occurred. Bashiti was called to the party, but when she rejected this request, the king became angry and consequently dethroned her. The king's servant, Memu Khan, provided the king with legal measures. This was all in order to earn extra points from the king. Jaxis, hearing this, took his servant's advice and made official that Bashiti was no longer the queen. It was also made law that the wives had to honor and respect their husbands from their own. Second point, after choosing Esther as his queen, the king granted tax exemptions as a sign of joy. After dethroning Vashiti, a quest began to find a new queen. Beautiful women from all over Persia were examined and Jaxis was happy about this. It was here that Mordecai and Esther appeared. Mordecai was likely a descendant of those taken to Babylon during the second round of captivity and was from the tribe of Benjamin. At last, the decree in Persia became released. Here, Esther became the new queen. Jaxis was over the moon about his new queen, that he granted tax exemptions as a sign of his joy. This was indeed the best service any ruler could provide for his people. Time passed, and when Mordecai found out about the king's assassination, he warned the king through Esther. Because of this, Mordecai's name was documented in the royal records. This became an important historical record for the Jews in the time to come. As such, the Persians were very careful and thorough about making their records. Third point, Haman, who was a descendant of the Amalekites, abused the decree of the king to plan a massacre against the Jews. It is not certain how Haman, a descendant of the Amalekites, came to be promoted as a high-ranking official. But he was indeed in a superior position and he abused this to his own advantage. There was a man who did not bow down to him and this was Mordecai. Haman therefore could not stand that Mordecai did not show respect to him and so decided to wipe out all the Jews. Haman started to scheme for his revenge. This involved targeting the Jews. In the twelfth month, he was to wipe them from the earth. He also told the king lies about the Jews and their laws. He completely abused the system of the Persian Empire. He lured the Persian king to think in the way he wanted him to think. He furthermore promised to provide the king with 10,000 pieces of silver as a bribe. To Jaxis, this deal was only for gaining profit. Jaxis, fooled by Haman's scheme, provided him with the power to write the decree. Haman therefore announced the decree to kill the Jews and to wipe them from earth. 
for the Jews, this was the biggest danger for them since coming to Prussia. When this decree became officially announced, the Jews were in a state of shock and panic. Heyman, who felt victorious and smitten, was overjoyed and waited for a good time. He was extremely happy at the thought of gaining the wealth of the Jews, on top of getting his way. First point, before asking for the king's help, Esther first asked for God's help by fasting for three days. After the decree was released, all the Jews lamented loudly. The price Mordecai had to pay for not honoring Haman was horrendous. Mordecai tore his robes and also lamented bitterly. The only one who could save them now was God. Mordecai turned to Esther and asked her to fight for them. But Esther also had her own circumstances. This was none other than that she was not permitted to go see the king before she was called. This could cost her life as even the queen could be suspected of trying to assassinate the king if she turned up uninvited. Despite this, Mordecai still requested to Esther to go seek the king. Esther made up her mind. She asked her people to fast with her for three days and to pray to God with her. Esther prepared to die after three days. She had not been called for 30 days by the king, meaning that her position had become less attractive. But she decided that if she perished, she would perish. Fifth point, in order to fight against Haman, Esther planned her party. After fasting for three days, Esther went before the king. Surprisingly, Jaxis welcomed her and opened his heart to her. He moreover told her that he would grant her any request. Indeed, God had granted her prayers. Jaxis was in such a good mood that he told her that he would give her half his kingdom if she desired. Writer Herod also used this line. Esther used her wish chance to invite the king and Haman to her party, and so began Esther's first party. Jaxis offered her another wish chance, and she used this to invite the king and Haman to her second party. They both promised to attend. When Haman was invited to both parties, he felt very good about himself. He went back home and schemed to kill Mordecai before killing the Jews. He felt asleep, most smitten that he had been invited to the queen's party. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.